Oh yeah, we got ourselves some spaghetti western music. Well, how you doing? All right, everybody, Baron here. We are gonna be playing a game called West of Loathing. Now, this game is from the creators of Kingdom of Loathing. Now, a lot of you have mentioned, well, a few of you, a select few of you, in the comments, because over the last couple of days, I've been like, guys, 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 where are those new games at? I would like to play them. Where do we find them? What do we play? Some of you guys have recommended this gem, and I am entirely grateful for that. Baron Brigade, you know I love your suggestions. Anyway, so we're gonna start ourselves a new game. This game is primarily focused around humor, so do we need to do any options here? Oh, dialogue, speed. 100%, 100%. We will we'll lower this music down just maybe a little bit. Nerd mode! Displays a log describing what happens in combat. Provides a few of the I wish I would have I don't think we need to do that. Let's just jump right in the game. Biff! Why don't you make like a tree and leave? Or was it or blow? I forget what it was. Hey, what what movie was my terrible Whoa, hold on. Dude, I feel like we're the God, dude. Can I just say that of all the weapons in existence, two of my favorites are shotguns, the side-by-side uh, -side barrels, and the six-shooter revolver pistol. 958 meat. What is this all about? Oh, we can... Here we go. Baron Von Cowboy. Nah. Von Toast. What? I can't even do it. Von Van Toosten. Van Toosten. You know what? Yeah, that's our name. Baron Von Toast. Let's start ourselves a game here. Cow puncher, bane slinger, or snake oiler. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character, uh, a character class. I gotta say that <laughs> this is ridiculous. Wait a minute, this guy. Oh, did you see? Okay, so he's got a flamethrower. This guy can punch, and this guy's like slinging beans. He's got a magical hat. We're gonna base this entirely off who's got the coolest hat, and that will be the bane slinger. I want to be a bane slinger. I didn't read that. Ooh, my room. So this is in black and white to kind of recreate those classic Western movies. Oh, I can move around. E. Percy Hardy and the Incident at Butcher's Gulch. By the way, I'm always excited for a game where I can basically practice my terrible ability exits. So, goodbye, desk. Oh, I just gained experience for combing that desk. Let's read this book, see? Oh, you got an item walking stupid. There we go. Oh, shoot, that's our music. Hello, crow. Hey, Russell. How you doing? Crow! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Feed Russell a cricket. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell. I'll always remember you in our fond times of you waking me up in the middle of the night because you're a freaking bird. And I'm trying to sleep. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pie safe. <laughs> oh my god. That's, I don't know. That's, that's funny. You're going to miss mom's cooking. Now what's over here? Oh, there's a door over there. Your family's farm. Hey there, mama. Mom. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're going to miss you, kiddo. Wait, I don't, how do I do a western lady? We're going to miss you, kiddo. Now, see, I don't know. It's terrible. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. Could it be a gun? It's that book you wanted from Crimbo. Uh, the one about picking locks or the one about des- Ooh boy, the one about bartering? Oh boy, oh look, they all end in oh boy. I was just saying oh boy. You got an item, mind your meat. <laughs> that's some weird stuff right there. All right, that's the one, enjoy it. Please be careful, write us a letter when you can. Dude, can you imagine snail mail back in the day? What's this guy all about? Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. The hat doesn't fit you, dad. I'll grow into it. Oh, his lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. Well, thank you, Dad. You never really were there for me when I needed you the most. But that can of beans! You know what? I think it'll help me in the future. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Goodbye, Rufus. Hey, Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. I got bifocals. <laughs> Uh, to seek my fortune. There's no opportunity here, kid. If I'm gonna make something of myself, I might go where I can make some meat. Why Why am I making meat? Maybe meat is slang for money. I would hope so. 
But it's dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And the statistic is from before the cows came home. Why is he talking like a baby? Because I'm doing the accents. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. What is Crimbo? What are these people talking about? All right, bye, Rufus. Thanks for being a sack of nuts. Oh, what's this? What's this? Inventory is I. We've got character. We've got meat. Oh, we actually are trying to make meat. So here's my character. I got muscle. Wait, base of one. Current at two. Well, look at that. Mysticality. Maybe that'll, uh, you know, get me some wenches and ladies attracted to me because I'm, I'm so mystical and mysterious. We got moxie, grit, gumption, and glamour. All right, so maybe the glamour is going to get us the lassies. Hellbender, Miss uh, now Foxen. We got one flavor bean and one bean shield. What on earth is happening in this game? Let's check our inventory. <gasps> no pistol, no weapon, just a can of infinite beans. And your stuff. Read it. Whoa! I gotta say, I love Western music. A little dang, dang, da dang, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to go, man. I got, I got the chills. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been added to your options menu. Maybe if someone's following me, I can, I can walk stupid. Then they can't track me. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. <laughs> Oh my god, this really is the funniest game possibly ever. Mind your meat. Let's gives you the dickering scale. Down, down. Oh, dude, come on, man. Give me that guitar. I want, I want a little bit more of that. It really does give me the chills. I'll just be honest. You read the book from cover to cover and learn, among other things, that it cover its cover price is way too high. You got skill dickering. Sounds like, oh boy, we got 60 meat. You pawn it on a wide-eyed rube. Dude, I... Some of the nomenclature in this game. What was that? Yes, travel you with. Oh, west of Loden. Hitching a ride. Well, dude, I'm not skipping the opening credits. Director, Zach Johnson. So, this is a game a little bit different than what we usually do. Now, if you guys want to see more of West of Loden, now I'm gonna agree to this. If you guys want it and you guys go Ham Branch Brigade, where are you at? I will make you guys the promise that I will do face cam for the next video. And also, I'm thinking that face cam will be very good for these style of games. So, we're going to enter a new era here on the channel. Um, and you know what, we're going to skip these, even though I love this music. But, you just skipped a credit sequence where your character rode a turnip cart across the Great Plains and into the sleepy town of Boring Springs. How did the trip? Included all the people. Look at this. So these are the people who made this spectacular game. Oh, all right. Dirt water. Three hundred. Whoa! I could do a roll. I roll like a hay bale. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this drunk guy. Oh, now, burp. Hit. I'll tell you. I burp had enough. <laughs> Look at me. I, I keep running in different ways. Oh, that's poo poo. No, <laughs> I really have. This stupid walking. I keep stepping in poop. Oh my god, I'm crawling through the poop. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we want to go to the sheriff. Oh, now I'm glide. I'm ice skating on sand. I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, so we we got to go to Topeka. This is closed. Get lost. Uh, step right up. Step right up. Braid's name and Trey's the game. You seriously doubt about his name? You seriously doubt that his name is Braid? Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today, well, sir, today I'm trading locks of soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. Ooh. I need a needle. And to the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventure, so I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. How about some free dynamite? Oh, look at that. Dickering. Oh, he just gave me dynamite. All right, sir. I must admit that you drive a hard bargain, but I find your terms acceptable. Well, I'm gonna go get me some soap, and I'm gonna guess, as I, as I, I'm gonna guess, oh man, I was gonna say, it'd be in a saloon, wouldn't it? Gone drinking. Gone drinking. Well, let's go see. Oh, look at this old man. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dagnabbit? Well, I, you can't drink in here without a hat. Tank proper. He points to the take a hat. Leave a hat box next to the door. 
You look through the hat box and find a magical black Stetson. That looks like something you wear. Oh, look at that! There we go. I was gonna say, actually, how did I not notice that the hat we chose at the beginning from being a beam blaster or whatever we're called, which is a very strange way of putting it. Um, where was that hat? You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, er, Pete! Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, feller. You heading west? Even you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er, no pressure. Fine. Oh my god, oh my god. We are in a bar. Howdy, I'm Baron Van Tulst. Hello, Horace. Um, he's the town hostler. What is a hostler? Yeah, well, I, I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Oh, how's that working out? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Is this why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching those horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of these vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One of a kind, a boring one, but it's got four legs and a black and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Well, this was the, uh, okay, so we met him. Hey. Hey, barkeep. Reward for lost mugs. 25 meat each. Why, why is the currency in this game meat? I just think that's so strange. Um, howdy cowboy. Howdy barkeep. I'm Von Toast. What brings you to our little backwater here? Well, tell you what, I don't even know. Um, I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far though. Any work around these parts? Fortunately, Barn Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an uh, errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by dirt water. Ooh, okay. The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Um, yes, yeah, Forsaken Burger is always falling apart in our way. The hostler's always needing help since he hurts his leg. And that no count sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. I want to be the sheriff of a town! Oh, what? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the ba- <laughs> What?! In the basement, some cowpoke in from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere? What on earth? I'm gonna go hunt a goblin. You got nine. Much obliged, I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Dude, this- this game is absolutely nuts. What is this? Oh. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking it, it's absolutely disgusting. We're gonna look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, tobacco spit, chewing gum. Looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And this smell, even from a distance, smells horrible. I'm gonna look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't... I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shiny in the bottom? Get it! You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can... Oh, God. You can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound. Your skin is burning. Search. Oh, we got a nasty ring. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, we got something. What's this guy doing? Hey, friend. Oh, these guys are playing poker. I want to play poker. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. I'm gonna bet aggressively. Wait, what's my moxie? I don't know. They look at each other nervously, but the, but they both call your bet. You show off your pair of tens, plus two, three, king. Oh, never mind. The guy on the left, a full house, two jack. Oh. I win. Oh, I, I outfox them. You explain that jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points to the guy on the right's 20, and you're 25 plus a king. And the king represents King Ralph the Ninth, whom the Western colonies revolted against because of unfair taxes. <laughs> oh my god, they not understand and push more meat across the table. Wow. All right, so I, I played poker completely wrong, and now I'm stupid walking everywhere. What'd you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck. I say all kinds of things. For instance, dagnabbit, some darn horse thief punched me in the onions. <laughs> uh-huh, Pete takes his figure. See you later, Pete. All right, we gotta find this basement. I'm guessing it's here. Oh, God. 
Look at this. There's, uh, here's the goblin. Attack the goblin? Whoa. Okay. Oh my god, this is a combat RPG game. Target goblin. He's got 25 health, one muscle, one mysticality, and one moxie. You will deal three damage to this target. My skills. I do have dynamite. I'm gonna use this fungus side. Ooh, here we go. 25. Oh, look at that. So if we had walked in here and found that goblin without talking to the barkeep first, we wouldn't have been able to kill him. Progress toward next skill up. All right. Well, I want this. I want this whiskey. Ooh. And here we are, stupid walking. Ooh, a pile of old newspapers. Boring Springs Gazette, April 20th. Wait, what was that date? 1895? Alright, so now we're... <laughs> I love this stupid walking. Um, I took care of that goblin there. Ooh, we get eat. Oh my god, I, I thought someone broke in my door, but it was a very loud clap of thunder behind me. I almost pooped myself. Right as I was about to say, we got 200 meat for taking out that gobbo. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? Uh, that's Susie. She's ranch from nearby, real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester. Why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently? Got some pent-up frustrations. Well, don't mind if I do. The woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy who's gonna be searching the spit tune for his teeth if he don't leave me in peace. What? I wanna talk to her. Lady. What? What? I should probably leave him alone. Yeah, right. I want to. I want to look, look at my stupid walking. I literally love this game. Okay. Uh, I already searched the spittoon. I think I did. Wait. There's a hat. You already have a hat. Okay. Well, we did a lot. Now we can go to the. <laughs> we can go to the horsery. Horses, one thousand meat. How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. <laughs> to tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All of my horses keep running away. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you, please. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. How many are there? Whoa. He draws three little pictures on your map. So, Orhole Mine, Boring Springs, and Thousand Snakes... Huh. And Golden... Thousand Snakes Gulch. I think they lack environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, find it some, feed it some of these oats, and you should send it back here. Got a bag of homing oats. How does that work? There are special pigeon infused oats. Well, I mean, that sounds classic to me. Oh, I got a needle. Oh, wait, wait. I got two needles. And uh, <laughs> Hold on a second. Do you realize what just happened? We found two needles in haystacks. This is the most typical horse you've ever seen in your life. Now we can go to this market guy. Where is he at? I don't want to go there. There's the drunk dude. Now we're crawling through the poop. Now we're going to go find that market and we're going to buy two sticks of dynamite. Oh. I'll trade the soap for a lock. Wait, I should be able to get another one. Huh. That's weird. I had two of them. Alice is closed, so... Topeka. Some loose dirt. You're not allowed in Topeka anymore, Mer. What? Why am I not allowed in Topeka? Oh man, I want that gun, sir. Sir? Sir? Well, I can't. Alright, so... Look at that, we're ice skating here. Dirt water. I need a horse. Literally, I'm handstanding. Alright. How do I get to other areas? Oh, here we go. A map. Oh, look at this. Okay. Make your own darn guy to Barn Springs and its environs. All right, so we're here. We're going to go here. Oh, cool. So there we go. Fast travel. Rip. Our founder, Zephaniah Boring. He was actually a really interesting guy. Got a recovered mug. Benjamin Crockett. He showed up way too early. I don't get it. That, that joke's lost to me. The grave is really noisy. Beauregard, skeleton captain, third cavalry. Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's a zombie skeleton, boys. Look at him. I'm, like, kicking him. Scuffle it is. All right. He's got 10 health. An agitated skeleton. Okay, I've got a pistol. I've got a melee attack, pistol attack. Oh. 
target will suffer 9 hot damage. Action Beam Shield. Increase your armor by 4. This will not end your turn. Hmm. He's got 20 health. Oh wait, I've got 20 health. Alright, so then we should go to 24. Pew! What? I, I didn't even have a gun! Oh my god, he just smacked me in the stomach. Alright, what's this? I'm gonna do a melee attack. Kya! Ooh, headbutt. Alright, alright. Hmm. Let's, let's, uh, we're not gonna finish my. Pew! <laughs> I like how, since we don't have a real gun, we just go pew! And it, like, shoots maybe a bean or something. I wonder what this, how much damage that would do. 20 damage to the target, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste my. There we go, we knocked him out. Victor. You gained 3 XP and we got skill gumption level 2. Sounds fantastic. And now we're. Oh. Look at this. We found the horse. Nay! That's a little strange. How did you. How you did that without opening your mouth? Feeder of the oats. Please don't look at me like that. You, you pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt freezing. Yep. All right. Try the oats. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? Hmm. You hold the oats out again, but the horse continues to ignore them. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Whiny. Add grave dirt. All right. You sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dart dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly, expressionlessly at them. Then eats them. Nay! And with that, she glides away in the direction of town. That was quite bizarre. Timothy Cochran, Elizabeth Cochran, Silas Cochran. A baby. Oh, wow. What happened to that family? So, I think as we're hand standing away. How do I. I wanna. Hmm. Alright, so we did that. Now we're gonna go a Thousand Snakes Gulch. Oh my god. Look at this. We got, uh, well, oh, there's a couple, wait, I can't get past the snake without fighting it, okay, alright, so he's got 10 health, I'm not going to use dynamite, cost one action point, well, how many do I have total? You have one action point, maybe each battle I have one action point. Get burning, look, we are sorcerer! Yeah, get hot damage. I don't know what hot damage really does. Maybe if it's like a scarecrow man, you know? Here we go. Got him. Victory! Mr. Kelly's up to level two. Now we gotta fight ourselves another snake. Alright, I got one action point. I'm gonna use this to just damage them real, real bad like. Oh, whoa, this, ho this horse? <laughs> this snake, oh man. He's got five. Oh, I got poison damage? That's surrender. Never surrender. Never give up. I should have looked and saw and noticed that this snake. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Look. See, we can see ourselves with a little poison damage. Now we're going to punch that snake in the face. Blah! That's right. Little snake running around all hippity. Slithering around all hippity bippity. All right. So we got 310 meat steaks. Oh, my God. The snakes are everywhere. I'm good at tricks. What? Whoa. These tricks aren't. What? All right, I think I'm gonna use dynamite on this one. This one's pretty strong. See you later, snake. Eat dynamite. <laughs> That's cool. All right, grit levels of two. Oh, hey there, horsey. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? Niner. It's cool, all right? Be cool. Don't freak out no more. Whiny. Look him in the eyes. You calmly look at the horse in his eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stale, and the other is revolving madly in its socket. He, I think he, in a socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders. Why, what? Mm. We're gonna feed him the goats. <laughs> I just said feed him the goats. All right, we just fed us a horse goats. Did he go in the direction of town? I believe so. And there we go. There you have it. Now, can I access the map from here? I can, so then I don't even have to exit it. 
Orhole Mine. Oh, never mind. Orhole Mine it is. So there's an outhouse, some trees, a minecart. This definitely does not bear close scrutiny. Some meat. Ooh, we got 65 meat. Ooh, there's a mug. Oh, I get, remember how the, uh, dude, I have mugs. Hold on a second. I gotta go back to town because I got two recovered mugs and I can get meat from them. Examine the controls. Oh God. Leave the elevator alone, let's. All right, this mechanism is labeled cargo elevator control. The poster on the wall behind reads, Blasting cap storage, plungers, both kinds? What does that even mean? Tools, and where do you want to send a cargo elevator? Let's go, let's go to level one. Can I... Oh, these crates are labeled blasting caps. The period is part of the label. That's why it's inside the quotes like that one. What on earth is going on? Dang it, looks like they're gonna need a crowbar to pry one of these crates open. What? All right, let's get to plungers. Oh wait, tools. Tools is on. Yeah, I did this wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just activate it. No, screw it. Get, got a detonator. We're gonna get the tools, get the crowbar, and I'm, I'm assuming there's a crowbar. Open it up and. Oh yeah, we got the crowbar. All right, all right. Now we're gonna go to level one and get. Blasting caps, which is probably gonna be used to blow up these rocks over here. There we go, we got a blasting cap. Unrefined meat nugget. Gross. Alright. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna blow up dynamite. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. Three, two, one, dynamite! Oh. You forgot. I didn't. I didn't forget to hook up a blasting cap. Man. <laughs> there we go. Kaboomy. Let's go in here. Oh, there's there's the dark horse. 65 meat. We, we examine everything. All right. I'm a friend. Whiny. This horse shies away from you, though in this case, it's more like cripplingly introverts, introverts away from you. Reassure her. I'm going to pat her on the nose. Eat her the oats. She sidles away from me warily. I'm gonna eat the oats myself. See, perfectly fine. What? The horse finally seems relaxed. All right, we got that horse. Now, look at me. All right, now can I go back to town? So now what I should be able to do is ice skate my way over to the bar, which should be called the saloon. Howdy. I found these mugs. Much obliged. Just thought I'd say howdy. Take your leave. All right, so what do we do? Oh, I guess I go to this guy now. Oh, there's the horses. Oh. Oh, yeah, dude. We got... Oh. Now I can buy a horse. Can you sell me a horse? You said something earlier about an injury. Oh, let's see what that's about first before we buy the horse and then presumably can leave town. Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out in, out the showroom. Don't ask how, it's embarrassing. I was gonna get Doc Alice to take a look at it, but she gave up Doctor. Well, oh, that's the lady at the bar. Nobody knows, she just shut herself in her office. Said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse, or I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. All right. Well, before we leave town and buy this horse, I think that, oh, here's the sheriff's office. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. Say, so you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I'm always down to work. There's a gang of hoodlums around here, what called themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with them. I ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game so much. And I need somebody tough, smart, or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff after all. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Oh, I, I got a pistol. You deputized the gun? Okay, we gotta go to Fricker Gaines hideout. Yeah, look at this. Oh, there's another mug. Now we can go back to the saloon and get meat. We're gonna get that meat, boys. Here, found this mug. See you later. I'm gonna go on an adventure, uh, bar barkeep. All right, let's check out this map. We're gonna go to the Fricker Gang hideout. Oh, 
What if I sneak by this guy? What happens? What's in here? Harvest. It's a beer barrel cactus. Requires foraging, which we don't have. You got a recovered mug, pair of silver cufflinks. Oh, matter of fact, that's nice. All right, we're gonna go back and fight this guy. I got a pistol now. I got a, I got a real pistol. I don't just go pew pew. Just shoot him. That doesn't seem very sportsmanlike. You sure you want to do that? Ye let's let him live. He might be a good guy. You poked Thud with the boot. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Thud is, well, let's just say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that's that it's seven years from now and that idiom makes sense. Seven? You feel kind of bad about the idea of killing you. Let's fight, Thud. Oh man, I, I, he's got 15 health and three muscle. Oh, look at this. Our damage has gone up. All right, I'm gonna use hot damage. Or should I do a shield first? Oh. I'm gonna use my action point to give me armor. Nah, that, that seems stupid. Because now we're gonna probably have to fight him three times. And look, yeah, we should have used the fire damage. Five to six damage. Get wrecked, dude. Oh, he only does one damage from a punch. This guy ain't got nothing on us. Dude, I like that we got ourselves a nice little six shooter. Feel like a real cowboy now. Nah. All right, progress towards the next skill level. Well, now that we've done that, reckon we gonna we gonna stupid walk over here to this cave here. The Fricker Gang's hideout. I'm gonna shoot him while they sleep. Oh god. Just tie him up. Psst, can you pass the soap? <gasps> I gotta I gotta take a soap. No way. Whoa. These shadows are real cool. I love the art style of this game. See, oh, totally titty toes. The Frecker Gang's hat out. Now, am I gonna have to fight them both? Approach them and talk. Leave? No. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. The one without the eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How do you get past Dud and Soapy? What do you want? Um, I'm here for the sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell! <laughs> he draws his gun. Well, I reckon, oh my god, this guy's got a shotgun. Can I, oh, okay, this guy's real easy to kill. He's got five health, we are gonna go. Oh, look, my damage goes up. Yeah, see, this guy's only a snipe fricker. But he, yeah. Pew! Oh, wow. Now this, oh, this guy's got two pit, did he miss? I feel like he missed. All right, he's got 20 health. We're gonna do the fire damage, drop him to 10. Ooh, and it's hot. God. He missed again. I don't, I'm okay with that, I'm just saying, it's weird. We'll hit a sturdy barrel instead. Well, I don't wanna do that. Pia! Oh, I don't think he knows that he's hitting this barrel. That's interesting, all right, well, you fricker. You done messed up, Sonny Jim. Sonny Jim Fricker. The leaders of the Fricker game are dead by your hand. The Sheriff. I love how they say Sheriff and not Sheriff. Though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Mama, I killed, I killed men today, but I left one sleeping. What's this? Ooh, a meat. Grab the door, grab some stalactites. Or is it stalagmites? Stalagmites are the ones on the bottom and stalactites are the ones that come from the ceiling, yeah? Look at me, stupid, walking like a derpy spider. I like this game a lot. My name's Baron, and I'll take you, I'll tell you what. Anytime I can use a silly, silly accent, you know I'm gonna enjoy myself completely. This game is so cool. I've never really played a game like this. I found this mug. All right. Um, do I have to go over here? How'd you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. <coughs> I saw it happen, saw the whole darn thing, and couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> well, I'll avenge them for you if they die. Cows, right? I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows not no more. I mean, they ain't not no cows not no more, Baron. You go, they kill my family. Do you think she talked about it? Do you think she's like, oh, hello, Baron? You know, something like that? I'm thinking, I'm thinking she's like, Baron, I want to get you some whiskey and go on a nice date. And ride a magic carpet into space. I'm like, lady, you must be hallucinating on some stuff. It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before. Well, they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left to play blah, blah, blah. Whatever, lady. I want to... 
I ain't want to talk about it no more. What will you do now? Nothing. Uh, head west, I suppose. Nothing keep me here. No desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Well, lady, I'm gonna go get you a rifle. Where is that? I'll go get it! You discovered a new ramp location, the Cock Ran Cochran Ranch. You don't go to this Cochran Ranch. Cochran Ranch. Cochran Ranch! Establish 8 9 and 1. Now look at this stupid walk. All the water is here is boiled away. Oh my god. This is... This is interesting. What's in here? Nothing. Here's a door. Something behind the door is making some pretty awful noises. That's where the cows are. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> That's funny. All right. We're going to go fight some cows. Cock and ranch cellar. Uh, looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Ooh, a varmint skin in that. What's over here in this crate? Nothing. Look at that. We got a little lantern. There's some lighting effects. The pies were... These pies were not safe. Oh my god, is that really a, a demon cow? We're gonna fight this cow. Oh, he's got 15 health. That ain't no problem. Oh, why would I, I don't think I want to do fire damage to a fire cow. Where's my varmint skin and knife? He's got 15. We're gonna melee smack him. And Oh god! Oh no. On fire? How come I can't put him on fire? All right. Oh, see, look, it goes down because, yeah, we're gonna, I think I'm slowly burning, but I should be fine. Oh, God. Here we go, we got, we killed the demon cow! Fighting demon cows. All right. And we got Glamour level two. Let's go get her rifle. You got Susie's rifle. Hopefully she's like, oh, man, I don't need it. Let's just get married and drink whiskey. And then, you know, and then I can keep the rifle and go on my merry well. Because I got to be honest, Susie Cochran, I ain't ready for marriage. I'm a, I'm a lone western man, a cowboy. And I ain't going to settle down while I'm walking around and poo-poo. You yeah, catch my meaning. Yo, lady, what's up? Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Baron Von Toast. Um, can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up at you. She says, well, that's enough will on wallowing in my misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along when you head west, just say the word. Oh, cool. Wait, didn't we, didn't we meet two people that could go west with us? All right, so I think there's something going on. There's another building, right? Howdy, do I have anything to trade? Oh yeah, a lock. Sweet. Alice. Ooh. What brand? Nurse whiskey. Didn't know she makes house calls. All right, hold on. Oh, cool. We open. Oh, my God. That is so much TNT. Can we grab it? Uh, wow. Shouldn't this be further away from your fireplace? <laughs> I mean, seriously, though, right? Oh. Hey, Doc. Can I look at your books? Okay, okay, fine. Whoa. You grab a pair of tweezers and pluck some of your more unsightly eyebrows. All right, lady. Here's the whiskey. Jeez, Doc, that ain't seem healthy. What's the doc? Who's the doctor here? Me or you? <laughs> All right, we gave her the whiskey. Uh, so what's uh, what's the matter, Doc? Uh, what's up, Doc? Dead men. Whoa. What's the matter? The whole world's gone to heck in a horse cart, and you ask, what's the matter? Bandits. Cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one and I'll drink to that. Dead men walking. Uh, ooh. Let's see. Patience. All right, you never get used to it. Mm. I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patience, it's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, um, um indeed. She turns away from you and focuses her attention back on the bottle. Huh. Well, I can read these books now. Check out the books. Let's go through The Legend of Curly's... <laughs> oh, my God. The Legend of Curly's Meat? That sounds disgusting. The Life and Works of Fred Ferguson and Leaf Through the Goblinoid Tongues. A problem. A, pr a primer. Make like a tree and leaf. Oh, look at that. That was the, the quote. From what movie? Back to the Future. If you guys guess that right, you guys are awesome. Let's go that. Ooh, you got a perk. Goblin tongue. Um. Oh, we got some other stuff. Now we're gonna make like a tree and leave. And I don't think there's anything else to do here. Oh! Do you have any ideas what's causing these resurrections? Well, I heard a rumor. 
It's when you get incomplete information from... <laughs> oh, the humor. Uh, anyway, what I heard is that there's a fella out west that's causing it. A necromancer, they call him. Supposedly, he's sending magic out in the world somehow. Magic like the bean slingers use? I never heard of any bean slinger raising the dead, have you? Uh, her scal demons? That'd be one hell of a can of beans. Alright, now what about that dynamite lady? What's about that deal? Fair enough. Oh, dude, she's there to blow herself up. What about the necromancer? Assuming he exists, what about him? Um, maybe someone ought to try to and stop him. Because you, you, I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you? Yeah, maybe not. Why not you? A gray-haired old woman that knows as much about fighting as a squirrel knows about surgery. Did you hit your head on a bar stool? You aren't that old. Oh, look at that. And we're just gonna skip through that. All right, cool. I don't know what we did, because I skipped it. The town of Born Springs. Um, I think we might have a mug. Oh, that's the sheriff. Oh yeah, I gotta give him the door. All right, we got 400 meat. Get another little task for you. If you got the dime, should be a lot simpler than that last one. Well, the frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. Oh, well, look at that, I got a lock. The cell door is locked, hold on. As soon as you get that lock pick, I'll be able to get some real sheriffing done here. How do I get? Requires a needle. Maybe there's more, I hope there's more in here. Can you, can you smell me, horse? I'll take that basic model. Take that shifty one. Give me the one with the crazy eye. Crazy eye horse. Um, I'll take him. Give him a name. Crazy eyes. Yeah, I want to name crazy eyes. Oh. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary manner in map. All right, well, what's new on the map? There's nothing new. All right, we gotta find a needle in a haystack. But we used all of our needles, so I can't pick this lock. Maybe this guy's got one? Uh, I would like a lock. Okay, no lock, no needles. This is tough, guys. This gun's got a face! What? Howdy, Cactus Man. Howdy yourself, the name's Bill. Cactus Bill, what happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Dog Alex warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. Um, does it hurt? No, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part me to keep pretty drunk most time. It's quite a, I guess it's a mite boring. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a new, give him the newspaper. Give me a needle. Dang it, I need a needle. Don't mention it. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. There you go. I'm not allowed to go to Topeka. I don't think we can unlock the sheriff's door. Oh. Wanted. Bimmy Fricker. Help wanted. Poster artist. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I, I feel like we're, we're missing something maybe. Hmm. Well, you guys ready to leave? I think so. All right, everybody. My name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want me to do a part two on this, you want to see more of it or other games like it, let me know those games in the comments below. And if you really want to see me play more, leave a like and let me know. Say, Baron, I want some more of this. And if you see some people saying that, go ahead and upvote that comment so it's more likely to be seen and build the hype. And you know what? This is West of Loathing, and I am loving this game so far. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.